Hi, in this quick video, I'm demonstrating the Dell 7740 Precision Laptop. I have five external monitors connected, plus the monitor of the laptop itself, the embedded screen. And on the top right, you will see a, this is the Dell 4K monitor. I'll quickly show you how I connected this up, and then I'll just uh, demonstrate the monitors running independently showing independent media coming through each monitor. All right, so let me just show you how I can set this up. All right, the first thing you'll need is a dock. This is the WD-19. Now, here you can have a look at it. I have a detailed video about how to set this up and what all the ports do. So I've got a display port, a display port, and an HDMI connected here. So that's already three monitors. The display dock connects via these two USB-C connectors on the side, uh, although they call it a dock, you're not really docking your laptop like in the old days, it's more like a display plug-in dock. And at the back of the laptop there are two ports, there's an HDMI and a mini display port. I have monitors 4 and 5 connected there. Very important that you need to enable a, a setting in the BIOS for it to work like this. Alright, there if I identify them you should be able to see all the numbers. And I just want to show you that I have disabled the Intel uh, embedded graphics that comes with the i9. You can see the only GPU that's available here is the AMD Radeon WX7130. I prefer the AMD when it comes to multi-monitor support. There you can see uh, right now, even though all those monitors are connected, it's not, uh, it's not consuming much of the bandwidth at all. But this is just static screens. So let's uh, put it to the test. Let's get some 4K videos playing. The monitor at the top is 4K 60 hertz and all the rest are 1080p 59 or 60 hertz respectively. Now I've already queued up some 4K videos, uh, even though it is uh, these monitors are only 1080p, I've got a high resolution video. I'll just show you the properties of this. It's a 4K at 62 megabits per second. This is more than your average downloaded Blu-ray. Those tend to be at 15, maybe 20 uh, megabits per second. So here we go. I'll just put this on loop. There it is. That is just a 4K video that I've taken and it's playing. Look, it's uh, down. The monitor is downscaling it, but keep in mind the bit rate and the graphics card is still having to pump that high bit rate up. Right. So there's one monitor. Now let's get the next monitor going. There we go, same video, I just put it in a loop. Also, same bitrate, and you can see the GPU climbing there. Uh, it's now at already 71%. You can hear the, the uh, Dell Precision, the fans going on now. There's the third screen. Right, you can see that that third screen knocked it out. Uh, it's now developed quite a lot of jitter. Uh, keeping in mind, these, these are high res, high bit rate media sources. So you can see this one has knocked it out. I can see the GPU there at 100%. I'm now at the full capacity. So I will just pause this one. And the one on the top right is actually at 4K. Uh, that is a 4K monitor. So we've got three screens playing quite nicely, but that, uh, that one in the middle uh, is not coping. I can't get that one going. I don't think I could squeeze out much more here. The GPU is already at 100%. I can see the mouse response is a bit slow. But there you go. There are the six screens playing on my Dell 7740. Obviously, you wouldn't do this. All right, just keeping in mind that these videos I was playing are very high bitrate and you could easily stream or play your lower bitrate videos, the ones you normally watch as in terms of entertainment, uh, movies and that. I already did that on my old Precision, the 6700, which was from 2012, running the Fire Pro graphics and the graphics on this Precision are much more powerful. But obviously I was using something very aggressive. You see that bitrate, one of those videos is equivalent to about three or four uh, lower bitrate HD movies. So just keep that in mind. I uh, don't think that this is a weak graphics card just because I was uh, using some aggressive videos. All right.
Now, if you're wondering why I have so many monitors, it's because I do uh, academic research and I find it is much more efficient to have more screens. You could have one journal on the one screen, another journal on another screen, Google Scholar on another screen, and uh, your Word document on one screen, and some other things on another screen. Now, I don't always use five or six monitors, but at times I do. So having that fifth monitor is very handy. For most part, I find four is the most efficient system. Uh, I found that having one monitor is a bit slow the second one i was twice as efficient the third one added about 20 percent efficiency and that fourth one was the sweet spot added another about 10 percent efficiency especially when doing accounts and things like that and that fifth one when i do heavy research that comes in handy so no i'm not a crazy person uh, i just found that this is what works for me all right so thanks for watching and cheers